Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk about the implications of customizing a form in InfoPath. One of the things I already mentioned is that it will not work after 2023, and it requires you to use it in InfoPath 2013, which is not a part of Office 2016. So another thing you should really know about is when you create a new column, such as the expenses column I'm adding here, with, which is of course a currency, I'm adding that, that new column will not be displayed on the form. So it doesn't update automatically, which the default SharePoint form does, of course, very important feature. So if you want to get the expenses on the form, you need to go into InfoPath again and add this field there. And of course, here's this warning that says that the fields have been updated. So now I can Go ahead and put the expenses wherever I want the form. Let's see, I should actually add, add a row here. So let's put that under the category there. Table insert below is perfect. This is one of the things that I think InfoPath does very well. You see if I drag this in here, it notes that this field should indeed have a caption, which goes in the left column, and it should also have a control, which goes in the right one. So if you decide that you no longer want the InfoPath form to be displayed, then you will go into list settings and find the form settings bottom left here and you modify the existing form or you use the default SharePoint form. You can also delete the InfoPath form from the server. So now when I'm back here again, when I reset it, you know, I open the form and here I'm back to the original SharePoint form with the expenses field here. So that concludes my second demo on using SharePoint Designer 2013 to modify your list forms. Thank you for watching.